Namaste and welcome. Uh, this is actually a follow-up video from my previous one. This is part two of the series uh, about uh, how to pray for someone else was my first video. And this is just a follow-up video wherein uh, I'll be focusing upon uh, specific situations and uh, let's say a couple of situations where your prayers for somebody else might not be answered. And it's also uh, applicable to people in general where you might want to pray for somebody else. You would have been trying to, let's say, pray for somebody else and it is not really working. I will be covering top three reasons or most important. The first one being spiritual path. So let's say if somebody on is already on a spiritual path, he is in a meditative state, he or she is in, is in a meditative state, uh, or let's say they are fully conscious uh, of their of their being on this planet Earth, for instance. Uh, they, any kind of planetary aspects or materialistic signs is usually not applicable. So let's say it works both way. If, if there is positive energy, which is let's say you are praying for somebody else, uh, the prayers won't be reaching them because they are already you know, attached to the Supreme Lord through their consciousness or, or just being on the spiritual path side of things. Uh, and secondly, what happens there is that even in terms of negative energy, let's say if somebody is trying to do something negative to them, uh, you know, if you have heard of words like black magic, so on and so forth, uh, that also may not be working on them. So, so this is reason number one. Number two is really the interesting one. This is like really your birth chart or when you were born on this planet. Certain combinations in astrology um, where we can see that there is definite uh, protection to that, that beings in specific. You know, there are houses like house number four, um, ninth, twelfth sometimes, uh, the first one. So there are different combinations in general in astrology wherein uh, there, God is basically pro provided protection to that being. The person is so protected with sort of positive energy in their body and the soul and mind is that uh, somebody else's prayers will not be affecting them in any way because they are already sort of ahead of that curve. Reason number three is again the interesting one uh, which is a lot of negative side of things. I will call it like a position, under position or uh, if something is some form of energy is already sitting on your uh, mind, body or soul. It can be both all the three possible ways. So if somebody's already uh, sort of um, let's say done something with you or you are under position of a spirit or any other uh, let's say extraterrestrial being or anything which is not directly in your dimension, our dimension of life. It could be third dimension, fifth dimension, um, something else uh, outside this planet's energy. If somebody's already possessed by any of such forces uh, in any like either in the mind or the body or the soul it can go either ways soul cannot be captured but it could be easily your body and and I, I know people who can have like multiple spirits within one body as well and they are possessed uh, so what happens if you are like possessed uh, with possessed by one being uh, the other planet um, other uh, you know bodies or uh, spiritual bodies as such may also attack because it becomes more convenient source uh, with such a negativity in somebody's body so in general uh, this is the third reason. If somebody is already possessed uh, or if they are not really um, having any sort of positive energy left in their body, this is again the third situation where your prayers might not be affecting them at all. Or even if they want to pray for them themselves, it will not be like they will not have the urge, uh, the whole inclination or even any kind of interest to do so. So I hope this helped. Thanks for watching. Namaste.